almost time for the third annual Chattanooga Dragon Boat Races. Uh, it started here a couple of years ago, and we got Penny ba uh, Bailing with us today. Penny is uh, with the uh, Chattanooga Dragon Boat. Uh, that's too much stuff to try to say. Anyway, we want to talk to you about signing up. Get, be part of a team. Yes, get in the boat. And anybody can do it, right? I mean, Anybody. Anybody can do it. I have actually paddled next to a 74-year-old breast cancer survivor, so absolutely anybody can get in a dragon boat. They won, right? You well, she, she had just bought her first <laughs> paddle. She was major, major into it. And she major was, into she was it. totally, totally about it. What is it. the age limit, you know, as far as young ones? How young can a person participate? 15 years old. Okay. Yeah, so get the young up. ones in, get the uh, older folks in. I think 81 actually is the oldest we've ever had in a festival. Festival and a dragon boat festival of wow. ours. So oh, that's great. Anybody can do it. Yeah. We've got some footage of uh, the dragon boats. If you're like me, a lot of folks are like, "What's a what dragon boat? Yeah, about? what is yeah. it doing? What? It, how do you best describe a dragon boat?" I always tell people it's a 41 foot long canoe like. When you say canoe like, they sort of associate it with a canoe, yeah. and so that's easy to to give people a visual. So it's a 41 foot canoe like vessel that fits 22 people total. And you have to have 22 people, people to be. Part of you, the team? We, we will let people um, race with a minimum of 16 plus oh, okay. a drummer. So. Okay. And so anywhere from 16 to 22, which absolutely. you would prefer 22. Yes. And, and everybody is a paddler. You do better with the full boat, absolutely. Oh, okay. Yes, 20 people paddle, one person is the drummer, and the 22nd person is actually the steers person. Um, you'll see the steers person pop up in just a second in the back of the boat. Yep, they're in the back there making sure that the um, boat doesn't go off course, basically. <laughs> so you want to make sure to paddle a straight course yeah. and, and go uh, go the right way that you need to go. So the, the steers person's there for that. Unless we could teach you Don how to steer you, if you like. Yeah, between now and then, absolutely. Just keep it straight is the That's object. right. Keep it, keep keep it straight. Keep That's for straight. darn sure. That's right. Uh, do you run heats or absolutely. just once or what? Yes, we run heats. All teams will get at least two shots uh, to paddle and their two times are averaged together and that show that p places them in hopefully a third heat uh, tw the top 12 yeah. teams go to the third round the championship round and they get to race for gold silver or bronze and I'll tell you they love their bragging rights <laughs> well That's of course sure. they do do, uh, do you have to make a boat buy a boat rent it what we own the boats okay we own a fleet of dragon boats it's always funny to tell people that um, yeah. not a lot of companies <laughs> own dragon boats but we own a fleet of dragon boats and they so the the paddlers will race uh, three boats at a time and then Three boats will be loading while the other three are racing, and we try to keep keep it going. That so the teams don't have to, of course, build a boat or anything yeah. like that. But they definitely bring their cheer, they bring uh, their picnic, basically out there, <laughs> and they just they bring a lot of uh, excitement, a lot of competition. It's amazing how competitive people get. And you have a new location this we year. It's been new... downtown, hasn't it? Yes, it has been, and we changed the location this year to um, so that we can use the venue once once before uh, 2010. <coughs> event which will actually also feature US Dragon Boat Racing Nationals. We're bringing a oh, national okay. level event here in 2010 so cool. we changed the location in order to use the venue that the only venue that's going to work for nationals and which it's over is? by Chickamauga Dam. Oh, it's okay. the Chickamauga Reservoir um, over by where the swimming area is over there is where the finish line will actually yeah. be so people can come and watch and we're so grateful of course to News Channel 9 for your oh, sponsorship gosh, yeah. and um, uh, General Show Brick is our presenting sponsor, and cool. uh, not only that, the great support that we've had from sponsors, but the paddlers themselves are very key to this event as well because the pledges they raise benefit the T.C. Thompson Children's Hospital Foundation. And that's always great because that that affords them to buy lots of stuff that the hospital needs Absolutely. to treat children. Absolutely. $115,000 last year in pledges, wow. and we, we want to see even more this okay. year. What do people win? Do they win anything? I mean, other than saying, "Hey, I'm number one, number two, and yeah." Other than bragging rights, they win. They get. We got. We have trophies. We have paddles oh, okay. that we give. There, there are actually various levels of, yeah. of division winners and, and such. And they also the the grand champion, which is the oh, top grand winner, champion. the grand champion, uh, gets a, a boat in the t in the event the next year. So they get to not only brag but come back and and defend their uh, defend honor. It. Right. Saturday, April April 18th from eight until five at Chickamauga Reservoir. There is a phone number seven. 778-4688 and there is a website and you can check that out on our website any time of the day or night. Thank you ma'am. Right. Good Thank to see you. you. Deadline for teams Good is see. coming up so oh, everybody oh. get in. Deadline. When is deadline? Deadline's next Friday oh, okay. so get them in. Get them in. Now we join Mr. Food in the Kitchen. Time to uh, prevent freezer burn. <laughs> <laughs>